morning of our hunt here. We got Chris joining us from Oklahoma. Uh, headed back up into an area here. We're, we're about an hour from the house. We've been driving since four o'clock this morning. I uh, got an area where we've been seeing uh, some good cat activity this week and headed back up there to see if we can cut one of these fresh. Chris, uh, what'd you say? This is your third time to Colorado hunt in Mount Lyons? Third time and third time's a charm. Yes, sir. Uh, first two times, Chris, uh, he was actually hunting in other places, you know, just as hunting goes, had a, a misfortunate experience, and hopefully uh, we can turn his luck around this time and get on one of these tracks and get one put up a tree. We got a lion that's crossed here overnight. We'll, uh, man, we've still got a good solid hour before we can do anything with it. We'll get, uh, We'll get caught up with Kyle here. We'll drive down the road, see if he's crossed back, um, if he's coming back and forth or whether he's just coming through. Um, other than that, it's just kind of a waiting game until we get to legal turning light and we can get the dogs loose on him. We've got legal, legal daylight hours. We've got the dogs calling up. You can see the cat crossing here. As you can see me, we've got our work cut out behind us. It's a pretty rough country we got to run through. But uh, we're gonna get the dogs loose, get them going, see what becomes of it. Uh, we're gonna start with a couple, get a couple of the old ones going, get a couple puppies kicked in, and see what the day becomes of. You wanna kick some loose, Chris? You got kick them two on my chair. You can do the honors of releasing the hounds. Dogs here working while they push the track. Maybe a little bit over a half mile. They're kind of working up here. This lion's came up here. You can see up here above us, there's a couple little knobs. You know, just kind of their behaviors. You know, they'll come around and move from these knobs and up around these saddles. Hopefully as these dogs are working through through this rim up here, they'll come across where he's uh, he spent the day. Just on the other side of this hill is a bunch of rimy cliffs that are, you know, sitting in the sun. It'd be a good spot for that lion to hold up for the day. Just kind of a matter now of seeing how far he travels and what uh, what the dogs are going to do here for a minute. We'll just sit back and watch and kind of monitor their progress and make decisions based upon what they do. There they are. Well, dogs have been out for about 45 minutes this morning. Um, came about a mile up country, followed that rim a good bit. Uh, sounds like we've got this cat caught up here on the hillside. We've, uh, we've kicked some puppies loose to walk them into the tree and get the experience. Um, if you can hear and you can hear the dogs training pretty well. It's, uh, it's going to be a good bit of a hike. They're quite a ways up that hill, long, steep, uh, slick sort of conditions, but we'll just take our time. Um, all the trees up there look really tall, so it should be a good situation. The cat should be comfortable, you know, willing to stay a good bit. Um, next is just getting our gear ready, hiking up, and uh, seeing what we can do with it. What do you think, my friend? I'm fired up. I'm fired up? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. There it's looking good. Problem. It's looking good. <laughs> We're getting 
here to the base of our hill. Dogs are about 500 yards from us, but in 500 yards, they're also about 500 feet in elevation above us. You can hear them up there treeing well. We're just gonna kind of gradual along these pine trees here and come out around the cliffs and work our way up to the tree. Another 30, 45 minutes, we should be there. Y'all set? All set. Let's do it. Fired up. Yeah, fired up. We're at the last 20 feet of our uphill climb and it's all downhill from there. God dang. What's this been, the hardest thing you've ever done in your life? Yeah, it has. Has it? Yeah, no shit. I bet you're gonna get up here and see a real nice cat in a tree and it'll all be worth it, huh? We're through the hardest part of our hike. We've come up here, we've done about, oh, 650 feet of dang near straight up elevation. We're cresting out at the ridge here. The dogs are just down off the other side. We've got about another, oh, 180 yards to go, all downhill. Um, definitely still looking like a good tom track. Gonna have a good tom in a tree. Kyle's down there ahead of us, kind of double checking on everything, making sure, uh, making sure the cats don't go everywhere, getting the dogs tied back. Um, we're taking a quick break here and we're, uh, We'll drop down there and get a whack at him, huh? Heck yeah. What you thinking? Uh, by far the hardest hunt of my life. And I haven't seen the cat yet. <laughs> but we're going downhill now. It'll all be worth it, my yeah, friend. Hell yeah, it will. You've done good. It You've will. You've done good. That was a hell of a hill we just climbed. <sighs> this is the hardest hike we've, this is the hardest cat so far this year. Really? Without a doubt. I believe that. Yeah, this is about as steep and rugged as country gets. <laughs> I see him. He's going to the right. Back on him. Well, we got here to where the dogs had the lion treed. About the time we got about 40 yards out, as soon as that cat seen us, he was down the hill and across the canyon. This is the second time this cat's actually been up a tree. Kind of a spooky thing. As soon as he sees this man, he's just jumping. We're um, we can see he's across the canyon now. We got another hell of a hike to get back up the hill to him. He really ran. Um, he's up a good tree now. He's up the biggest tree he's been all day. These other trees have kind of been little ones, you know, where he hasn't felt as comfortable. He's went up a pretty big tree now. Uh, we're just going to have to mosey down the creek here. We got some ledges and some slick stuff to get through. But we'll get down that and work our way back up to him and see if we can, uh, can't get in for another shot. That's just the way hunting goes sometimes. The dogs did phenomenal. Uh, we actually got some really good video. Uh, the, the cat came down here, he went across the canyon. Um, he made a great big old loop. He actually went out and went down below and came back on his old trail for a minute. Um, the dogs kind of got hung up for a second in the cliff, so they were a minute behind him. And you know, the little figure eight he pulled kind of kind of got him confused for a second. But they got it sorted right back out and put him right back up another tree. So looks like we got another hour's worth of hiking before we get this cat shot. Here we are. We just got about 75 yards from where this cat was treed again. 
Sucker bailed. Second he seen us coming. We didn't quite have a shot. We was going to try and shoot at a distance. Man, it, uh, I'm not sure I've ever seen a cat this spooky. As you can see, this is a uh, steep, slick, rough terrain. And using hands and feet and every muscle in your body to maneuver these hillsides. We gotta go back down. They've actually treated him, believe it or not, he's treed up again and he's just a couple hundred yards off the road. So we've gone all the way up the mountain, all the way down the next canyon, a mile and a half from the trucks now, and we got the cat treed right next to the road. But first of all, we gotta get down off this slick hillside without falling and hurting ourselves. We're finally back down in the bottom of the canyon here. We had to come back down, the dogs were treed a ways up here like we talked about for a minute. We got about another 200 yards down the bottom. It's only 300 yards to the road, so it, uh, hopefully this go around we can see. Maybe get a little bit more luck. First two times I wasn't successful, but this was my first time <clears throat> with JT and All Out Outdoors, and uh, JT and the guides made it happen. It wasn't easy. Uh, anybody that thinks mountain lion hunting, just jump out of the truck and go shoot. Uh, they've never been, so we treat this cat uh, three or four, fourth tree, four, four times, and uh, went up and down and up and down. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but. Uh, we stuck with it and uh, they uh, were patient with me and, and uh, we took our time and finally got it on the fourth tree and, and uh, got this cat down. I just want to say thank you very much to JT and uh, Blake and Kyle. It was great. Congratulations. Thank you.